Brigade Road is the heart of the city and as you will see when you go out, uh, it is very disorganized at the moment um, with no space for people to walk on or, or really no public uh, realm around it. So what we're trying to do is go on site and conduct this exercise where you will be provided with a toolkit and some maps. We feel the street, try to understand what is not happening, what can happen, come back with all our ideas, draw, sketch and we talk about it. Uh, Brigade Road, uh, it was known as a, as a barber's road. Uh, there's a lot of problems facing the road. Traffic. Uh, Jams everywhere. There's a lot of uh, parking problems which we face right now. Maybe the crowd is uh, day by day is getting down, down, down. Brigade Road, it is totally rush. It is not for a common people. This should be made a no vehicle zone with just people walking. Road should be kept clean. Uh, because there are a lot of chocolate wrappers and all garbage here. We, we look at the upper stretch of uh, Brigade Road, uh, starting from MG Road till Richmond, till uh, War Memorial Junction. And it's a slight incline, the road goes down a little bit, it's not to south. So let's, let's look at what we saw. We just walked up the road from one side and came back the other side. So, so we could possibly combine all these and transform the identity from a purely commercial to a place where uh, it's more social, more cultural, and a place for people, where people would come not just to shop, but just hang around. What do we do uh, to the park? This is the Opera House. And we saw one building which was unutilized. Uh, and I've seen that place in that form for a long time. So. Is it possible to convert that into some kind of a parking space? We, we are suggesting that you break this road into three parts. One fourth of pedestrian on one side coming from MG Road to War Memorial. Another one fourth, this is not, in, not, not to scale, another one fourth for just traffic, uh, maybe one and a half lanes to accommodate cars and two wheelers. And another half, which is an extended pavement uh, from the shop to the middle of the road. At certain points, you have these indentations, so you can still create pick-up and drop-off points, not a parking place, but if you shop and people want to get down, they can still get dropped without obstructing the traffic. Uh, and this gives you a broad enough space to create green patches, uh, a smooth flow of people. It also gives an opportunity for shops to extend a covered a awning or something like that, so that you can build street cafes, extensions, and it, it probably as an incentive for shopkeepers to participate in this whole exercise because it gives them extra mm -hmm. space, provided you standardize on how that space gets utilized. But the war memorial, the opera house, the trees, I think all of this contributes to making a very aesthetic and pleasing environment. The first thing we felt was that pedestrians needed more access and capacity, and they needed to make the walking experience comfortable and attractive. That was our first theme, broad theme. The second broad theme I've already touched upon, which is about enhancing this heritage precinct through an imaginative use of the existing spaces. And finally, which I think is a very practical challenge, is how do you increase circulation of traffic without increasing ve vehicular traffic? Uh, yeah. Our first idea was that uh, we can construct uh, as a trunk line or a trunk link uh, across uh, this uh, central junction. Uh, with a ramp, that means um, that the pedestrians uh, have not to cross the roads by s and stop the, the traffic by traffic lights or something, uh, what's disturbing the flow of the traffic yeah, and slows the traffic down yeah, and re uh, decreases uh, the capacity of, of the road. Uh, and on the other hand, uh, it's very dangerous uh, to cross at least uh, within two different sections uh, the road, which is uh, heavy traffic. Uh, and in addition, there is a, a bus station here in, in the mid on that uh, war memorial. Um, and so the idea was, in connection with the ramp, uh, to move or to remove uh, the bus station, if it's possible, maybe in, in a uh, area, in a section, where uh, is probably space uh, get free, uh, there is an additional um, fuel, fuel mm -hmm. station uh, 
uh, and so you can maybe uh, build in a bus station without um, disturbing the traffic flow. Uh, then you can use that really very, very nice uh, pleasant place uh, as a uh, aesthetic place without any function cr uh, for crossing the road or something. That means uh, you have to remove probably this very new installed uh, bicycle yes. uh, station because uh, that's for the usage of that bicycle station a, a very unpleasant place. Uh, we want to find a way to build in such a ramp in a very uh, aesthetic way. Uh, and Let's uh, call it as an organic solution with this very specific place where uh, very nice old trees uh, are planted. Uh, and so one of the ideas was to use uh, maybe on only one central main pin uh, constructed like a tree. And uh, that's a solution we know from uh, a, a few new, very new airport uh, terminals. They are using these uh, air, uh, the tree, tree plant uh, constructions and two potential roundabouts, which was the idea of introducing and getting rid of the traffic lights, introducing roundabouts at the main intersection and across from Cafe Day down here, which would make the flow of traffic a lot more smoother. Basically, we, we were, we were in, in, in charge of looking after the south part of the street. So what we did is we had first of all look at the overall picture of the city here. And we have three kind of ideas, what we would like to propose. No. Our proposal is yeah. to to close this street yeah. and to kind of reinvent the history. We read in this fantastic booklet you prepared for us that back 100 years this was, was a pedestrian zone um, with the absence of any cars. So basically, but the idea was, and, and we know it's radical, so, so point number one would be, is it possible to have a kind of kind of heart around this place? And this place, I don't, this is the only place I know here, but I think that would be a good... As the other place. said, yeah? Yeah. the opera this, house yeah. being rebuilt, that will be a fantastic building with this yeah. huge space in yeah. front, yeah. including the war memorial yeah. as a yeah. park, a small yeah. park, yeah. that, that, that and would be... And a very attractive center yeah. of this yeah. 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 district here. And, and, and taking the experience other cities make, at least what we, what we know about this. So if you really want to be attractive for tourists, you really need a kind of heart where people can come together, which is attractive to meet. Yeah. So, and sorry to say, even if we're from a car company, but you have to get traffic out of this. You have to. So, and, and basically, if you do this, and this is what um, <coughs> what um, what he is talking about. So, having the green, yeah. So, kind of green street here, yes. Yeah? So, taking this from the park here. So, this is where um, somebody pointed out. This is how the traffic goes right now in Bangalore. So, you have this middle point, and then you have streets one to seven, which goes out of the city with the circles, and you have to ban. Um, at least the heavy traffic um, from the from the center. So if you come from here and you want to go there, you have to go around. Yeah? So we have seen a lot of traffic just passing through. And, and, and we, in no way check, pass through. we in yeah. a way check yeah. that with a with a map with, the uh, with yeah. a bigger scale. Yeah. yeah. This as a traffic yeah. route doesn't make any sense. Yeah. It's just a shortcut for those people. Yeah. Uh, what was it you now? can take other ways of coming it. here going here yeah. but these are the two axles yeah. and that's out of our perspective sufficient mm -hmm. the so-called King Street in, in Stuttgart mm. that's yeah. a kilometer long mm. 20, 20 25 meters yeah. wide and that's a pure pedestrian zone and shopping only and shopping, shopping, only. shopping and, and even Sunday afternoon the shops are closed. Concerts, musicians. You'll find thousands of people there just clubs, having a walk, comedians. do window shopping. And But what you need to do then, of course, is you have to have a lot of um, public transport. You need bicycle areas. And what you also need maybe is a car-to-go concept. So the car-to-go, car sharing um, um, exists in some European cities um, and, and think people can talk about this more often. 
So that would be the so that would be the drastic idea. What is not so drastic is um, would be maybe you could at least slow traffic down. So um, we have, uh, for example, streets where you're allowed to drive 30 kilometers per hour only. So at least the heavy traffic. So it's safer for pedestrians. And um, if, you're, if you're in a hurry, yeah, so you take other roads, you can slow traffic down. What we would recommend, of course, to have a separate lines for buses, cars, and bicycles. If you cannot do this, and if you cannot do this, do this. Um, so at least um, clear the way for pedestrians. So this is at something which is really, really urgent, um, which means do electricity below the street, um, tear down the poles then, and we are sorry to say, but some trees have to go as well because they are really standing in the way and repair the streets. Basically, I think what was important about this, and for all of us who are here, is very good. Okay. The statement that you made, which was about imagination, and exactly. Einstein talking about not knowledge, but imagination. And I think that is that is very important. I think we should stop thinking that oh, that can happen in Sweden and Stuttgart and you know wherever, but it can't happen in India. I think. We have to imagine how this can actually happen. And, because, uh, and I think we will imagine that if we, feel, feel, if we begin to feel that we deserve it. We really do deserve. I mean, we are doing so well in so many ways. Why should we compromise on our public spaces? Why do we make our cities so transactional? Which is what they've become. They've just become transactional spaces. So can we make this actually about public spaces? And I think we have to start somewhere. I really appreciate the idea and thought really thinking of contributing, I appreciate that uh, thought itself. And I take the statement of Sara. She mentioned about the imagination. It's really wonderful. I think that is what we lack in our country at least. We don't imagine anything at all. We just go on the knowledge. We bring a lot of books, theories, and we talk about that only. And if imagination can do, I think at the earliest all these things can happen here. So how do this imagination work, which is very important? I don't know, because Germany and uh, all other foreign countries, maybe the government wants, they can just do whatever they want. But in India, it's not so easy. You want the opera house to be a park, it's not possible. You want that Pinto tower to be a parking tower, it is not possible immediately. There needs a lot of reforms which may have to come to such things in our country. <laughs> I hope, uh, I am personally, I am interested and I am very much, uh, I mean the idea, concept itself is excellent. I, I get a first opportunity, I'll try to put all these things in place. Uh, this is an example of an idea that has a less than 1% probability of actually happening. But how do you take it from here and move it to a point where it suddenly <coughs> becomes alive, where it suddenly becomes possible? And when it becomes possible, magic happens. And uh, we have seen this time and time and time again in the work that we've done over the last 12 years. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we are absolutely convinced that this is the only way. And in order for innovation to happen, you need, for example, what he's looking for. He is, he is as he's listening to this, he's a political, uh, he's, a, he's a player in a political marketplace. Right? So he's looking at this and saying, what are the odds that I will lose political capital? Because, by the way, this is everything we are discussing here is not for 80% of his constituency, which are people who don't know how to read and write, people who do, whose, whose basic requirement is 5 kilos of rice a month, and so on. So he's going to get no, as he said, this is not for him to win the next election. Mm -hmm. But he's going tomorrow to, uh, to Dubai for one and a half days to attend a friend's uh, function. So he's a world traveler. He knows what uh, the world is. He knows that this is the equivalent of Orchard Street or, or Fifth Avenue in Bangalore, and it's not the way it should be for a global city. So how do you meld all this? So he is willing to be, in a limited way, a champion of this if he finds people from the outside willing to hold his hand and be part of this process. So what we need is an ecosystem of players in order to make innovation happen. In, somebody from inside, somebody from outside coming together, someone willing to bear the brunt if things go wrong, so on and so forth. That's the role that we can play. But one submission to you is, uh, and I would say, look at what Audi is doing. Your Dame LaBelle's. Look at what Audi is doing with, uh, just go and check out a website called C-Click Fix. Okay? 
and what they are doing is they are working. You are a company about the streets yeah. of the cities in which you operate. And if you can say, think about a different way in which we can engage. This is not corporate social responsibility. Imagine somebody said, what if we could do busing where the parking is somewhere else? You are, I'm sure, doing design work somewhere in your studios where there is some battery operated vehicles, you know, small uh, passenger vehicles and so on. We could actually come up with an idea. You talked about the whole space. This won't be more than, uh, you know, maybe a 10, 20 million euro idea. And if we say, you know, what if we can, what if we go to the state government, we come up with a package, it takes six months to do this, put a whole proposal together, take it to the state government and say, we're willing to put in 25% of this if you want to put in 75%. It's an urban renewal program. All of a sudden, he says, I got, he has an MLA grant every year. He says, I'm willing to put in my stake in this. And you have innovation that's being seen happening in reality and millions of people can benefit. Thank you. It's stunning that the, the, the energy, passion, ideas, creativity that you've brought to bear for us today is really, really special. And, and in fact, quite apart from the actual content, which I think has been fabulous, the spirit that you bring to all of this and the spirit of generosity um, in creating this afternoon with us has just been fantastic. So a very big thank you to all of you.